I'm Jeff Pearson, Director of Safe School Environments for Jeffco Public Schools. The health and well-being of our students and staff is our most important goal. Our Restart team has worked hard to offer a quality learning environment while keeping our students, staff, and community safe. The extensive measures we've taken will change how schools normally operate. New protocols will be deployed throughout our schools that were developed in cooperation with Jefferson County Public Health. We'll have daily symptom screenings and temperature checks and face covering requirements. We'll maintain adequate social distancing when possible. All schools will have daily sanitizing and hygiene procedures. We'll limit groupings of students and staff, change the way our buildings are used, and change and improve our ventilation systems. As families think through the decision of sending students back to school, as outlined in our Jeffco Restart Plan, we want to provide this glimpse of what to expect. Details for specialized programs that are school specific will be sent out as administration and staff from those buildings return to work. We're truly excited to welcome back all of our Jeffco students. And parents know we are committed to safe, meaningful learning no matter which option you choose. These Dunstan Middle School students are getting a good sense of what their return to in-person learning might look like as they line up for the day's beginning. Chalk axes within circles help the students keep their proper distance. As with high school, there are multiple entrances to get the middle schoolers checked efficiently. Um, our goal is to get kids screened and then get them into the school and into their classrooms within pr approximately 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll require multiple entry points, multiple screeners possibly at each entry point. Are you currently experiencing a cough, sore throat, or runny nose? For any student that answers yes or registers a high temperature, the protocol is the same at every school. The child is gently escorted to a medical safe room for a second screening. The nurse will be following up with the parent and then trying to see if they do need to go get screening and tested for COVID-19. This modeling also includes the safest way for kids to ride the bus to and from school. Keeping the kids six feet apart, one student will get up on the bus and they will go all the way to the back and we have to have our windows down and they need to sit next to the windows. Dunstan's scheduling model has students alternating the days they attend to keep classes at 50% capacity or less. That makes for easier social distancing and traffic flow all of it reinforced with helpful signs. The middle schoolers will stay with the same group as much as possible, with a maximum of four classes. And of course, sanitizer at every step. And so for our group A kids, for example, that would come Mondays and Wednesdays, they would go from advise and then they would have two core academic classes like language arts and social studies, and then one elective class. When not in school, the students learn remotely. Dunstan's principal says self-sufficiency is going to be key to making this in-person learning work since no lockers can be used. I think it's really good if parents can think about what does my kid need to be prepared for the entire school day. So full water bottle, all of the supplies they need. If they have projects they need to turn in for the day, like everything they can, send your kids with everything that they need for the day. Once the classroom empties out, the teacher applies disinfectant to all surfaces with deep cleaning by the school's facility manager and crew once the day is done. So we just give it a good wipe down. Another key part of their job, making sure school airflow is maximized and that the building's temperature is adjusted for all that mask wearing. For airflow, we want the general temperature of the buildings to be a little bit lower. We want to make sure that people feel comfortable wearing their masks, that they're not too warm, they're not too hot, they're able to breathe. So we'd like to see the temperature a little bit cooler. We'd also like to see some dilution factors coming into the schools, making sure that there's a good mix of some outside air that's getting turned over. Middle school bathroom breaks, just like high school, every other stall, every other sink and no crowding. Food service, also similar, grab and go. The students will come in distance just like in high school and they will sanitize their hands and then they will choose a lunch that is full on its own. Other Jeffco Middle School principals are touring Dunstan so they can adapt these best in-person learning practices for their own buildings. 
and all are guided by the same goal. To serve our students and have them be safe along with our staff be safe.